Sneak peek to the exercise series. <laughs> Hello my favorite people, today we're going to be reacting to more rugby. So as you guys know, like a week ago, I did my first ever rugby reaction. I kind of just saw tackles, hits, learned some of the basic things about rugby from the comment section. And you guys suggested that I actually react to a real like guide or instruction video about what rugby is. So that's what we're doing today. I decided I actually want to transform the series into me actually trying to learn rugby and play rugby, as well as just other sports. I want to get more athletic because bitch. That used to not jiggle and now it jiggles, which means I need to do something about it. So therefore on the second channel, we'll be starting to work out and try different sports. So head over there if you want to watch that series. Anyways, here we go into a guide to learning rugby. Subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the second channel and do all that and let's go. Here we go. The Armchair Fans Guide to Rugby. Mm. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Hello. Rugby, 30 guys chasing a funny shaped ball about 30 at once? Like 15, 15? That's a lot of people. Place and battering the hell out of each other. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Chaotic as it may look, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to enjoy the game down the pub. Oh, the helmet. And importantly, make your friends think you know what you're talking about. Uh. We've joined up with National League One rugby club Isha to fill you in on everything you need to know in order to enjoy the classic English sport of rugby. The basics. Yes. Firstly, the basics. The match is 80 minutes long, 40 each way. When the final whistle blows, the team with the most points wins. Wait, what? 18 minutes long, 40 each way. The basics. Firstly, the basics. The match is 80 minutes long, 40 each way. Oh, oh. he means 40 total. 40 each way. That's a funky way of saying it. Okay. Or whistle blows, the team with the most points wins. Mm -hmm. There's 15 players per team. Eight big, ugly ones called forwards, <laughs> and seven fast and agile ones called backs. Okay, so you have the forwards and you have the backs. The forwards are the big linebacker type people, the big ones who block people, and the backs are the ones like the wide receivers or running backs who have to get the ball up the field. Cool. There's also a single referee and a couple of touch judges keeping an eye on things. Huh. One ref. Scoring. The main way to score points is by putting the ball down over the try line. That's a try, and it earns you five points. Once you've done that, you've got the opportunity to convert it. That means plonking it down on the ground level with where the try was scored and kicking it over the H. But so a field goal. A lot of similarities I'm noticing. Posts. If you manage it, that's another two points. Yeah, a field goal. If the goal. opposition screws up and commits a foul or something, that's a penalty. You can either run for the try line with the ball, or you can kick for goal, which earns hmm. you three points. Ooh, three! The only other way of scoring is from a drop kick during open play. That's another three-pointer, but it's not nearly as easy to pull off as it sounds. Mm. The action. If you get hold of the ball, chances are you'll need to pass it on to someone else before you get pummeled. In rugby, you're only allowed to pass it to someone level with you or behind oh. you, never forward. Ah, so I always thought you just had to pass it behind, but you could actually just toss it to someone. But how do they know if like, what if a person's like two paces ahead of you? Is that close enough? Or do they have, how do you know if they're directly, it's not a forward pass? Stressful. And try not to forget that every player on the opposing team will have one objective. Ooh, I just saw how basically the formation as they're running forward, the person next to the person being tossed to sort of just like organically falls behind. Like it doesn't seem like they're slowing down or anything. It's just they're, how do I show you this? Like this. So this person's going, so that they're running and then this person turns and this person, it's like that kind of, I hope that made sense. And try not to forget that every player on the opposing See? team will have one objective. It's like they all fall back To marmalize you and normally. get that ball off you. Anywhere above the shoulders is dangerous and is called a high tackle. <laughs> but remember in the last video someone literally got clotheslined. <laughs> Other than that, you're an open target. Oh, and when you're down on the ground after being boshed by some huge opposing player, you need to let go of the ball, otherwise it's a foul. Mm. Scrums, rucks and lineouts. 
what if you're trying to pass the ball to a teammate or something? Like, you, you're... Never mind. The iconic image associated with rugby is the scrum. Yeah. These take place like... when play has stopped and needs restarting. Each yeah. Teams forwards, that's the we got to react to some of those try clips. Try and push the other team off the ball so they can give it to their backs to try and score. Which is kind of similar to rucks. Essentially, they're just disorganized scrums that happen when someone has been tackled and the ball is loose on the ground. And if the ball goes off the side of the pitch, then it's a line out. Teams line up next to each other and the ball gets chucked straight Ooh. down the middle. They then Jeez. jump in an attempt to either grab it or knock it down to someone else Ooh. on the team so they you see can how they pick them up? with it. And that's it. In essence, it's all pretty simple, really. All simple. you need to do now is sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. Done. Okay, I wouldn't play in the mud, though. But no, it's not that simple, actually. Because I feel like there's a lot to it than just run, 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 pass behind, jump up in the air, catch a ball, and go head first into someone. I feel like there's technique, there's style, there's agility. There's a lot that actually goes into actually executing the basics like he just talked about. So I think the video was very educational, but I don't know. I feel like I need to watch more of the actual game to fully get a gist of it, but also to appreciate the game for being different than NFL American football. <sighs> so let me know if that's something you're interested in. Follow me on Instagram, like the video, and one more time, again, we're gonna be starting the series of me playing rugby and other sports on the second channel. Cause I need to lose some weight. I got some jiggle jaggle. Can't have that. Bye.